Okay, well, we've had a meeting of the company, the Mech Warriors and the executive and whoever else, and it's been decided that we are just, we're at the stage where we're just climbing the ladder too slowly. <clears throat> we've had these missions on this planet where they won't let us in due to tonnage, so we have to find a way to get uh, higher quality mechs. And the only way I know of, <clears throat> other than to find them, fight them on the battlefield, <clears throat> is to uh, find them in markets. Like we found that awesome part in the in the market. If you look in our mech bay and you look in storage, <clears throat> we have an 80 ton assault mech type uh, part, but only one of three. So I don't know how you'd play this game if you had to do like five or six. We have decided <clears throat> that we're just going to start jumping through the systems. And we're going to jump to a more populous area, which means jumping into one of the major kingdoms. And the, the smallest major kingdom is the Capellan Federation. Plus up there they sell, like, they make Stingers, Vindicators, the Highlander, which is a cool mech. Uh, I'm not sure, the Rifleman and Wolverine, which we've seen down in here. And we've almost got enough parts for that. <clears throat> so, and a Victor, which is one of my favorite mechs. Crusader, I don't know if that's, I don't think the Crusader's in this game because it's one of the original Robotech models, Robotech. And then they have the Thunderbolt, which is one of my favorites too. Anyway, so we've decided we need to go to Zanzibar. And like it sounds, it looks like <coughs> it's, a, it's arid, black market, already sounds like the Zanzibar manufacturing, large population, so th those things should add up to a better market. And it's only a two skull class world because if you look at all these other three three so we're going to stop at these worlds on the way there though <coughs> and then we're going to stop there let's pass there yeah see there's two right there excellent so we have a couple worlds that we could work over three two worlds right in that area so alexandria zanzibar and Bergdat. well no sorry it was that carl these yours okay so that's what we're going to do but before we do that, we are going to do one more mission here. Take off your shoes. <coughs> Make that mission up. is probably the easiest one. It's going to be against the pirates, which is too bad, but we don't want to hurt ourselves. Well, even though we're going to be traveling for 18 days, maybe we do want to see if we can take a bigger one. So let's leave the pirates alone for now and see how well we do on something else here. Believe that mission. Okay, we don't like convoy missions. Those are difficult. Fire for effect. There's a directorate base in this region. We have the equipment to level it. However, our recon capability is diminished. We'd like your team to take, take a team and attack the installation. Place beacons for artillery. Okay. <coughs> so let's see if it'll let us do that one. We want to build up money because we're going to be going probably without money for a little while. And look, look at that. There is no salvage on this mission. Interesting. So if we did that... We don't really care if we make any of these people happy, so we'll just take the maximum money. That's funny that there's no uh, real salvage. Let's see if it'll let us go into this one. I don't know if this is a good idea. <coughs> okay, so we have matches. Artemis, Uncle Boof. And let's see where we're going to put in the... Are we going to put in the Shadowhawk? Shadowhawk. Getting low on uh, pilots, too. I think we'll send Saberwolf. <coughs> okay, let's see how this goes. We do need to hire another pilot. And that next pilot will probably be someone based on my cousin Cam. We do have the fire starter, which can fight above its, it can fight below its weight because if you don't get it close, it's really ineffective. But if you get it in close, it can really be damaging because if it gets two shots on the same mech and overheats at 30 each time that mech's going to be popping springs and parts in the next just like throwing a bunch of bullets into a fire <clears throat> at least the way it is in Hollywood okay so we're going to go and place beacons so artillery can land and 10 to 1 says the artillery starts landing while we're still there commander there's nothing glamorous about sighting targets for big guns but the fireworks can be exciting just make sure you oh you clear out of the blast zone before the shells land. So here we are in our Leopard class dropship, dropping down for what should just be nothing more than a scouting mission, but you know the game is gonna throw. 
Command That's interface a ball. initiated. There we are. Test and marking the area for artillery strike. We need to place beacons in the designated location. Enemy units can disrupt the targeting of the beacons. They will deploy forces. Oh, okay, so there we go. So we need to destroy those disruptors. Artillery is not discriminate, so get out of there. To our... Oh, <laughs> what is that in there? That's, a, that's awfully close to where the artillery is supposed to fall. Okay, we don't have any real scout mechs, <coughs> but... So this is the lay of the land. We have to lay beacons in each of these, and it looks like we're going to get challenged on it. The area is not big, so this is a down and dirty little mission. I'm thinking that going around this way would probably be the best way to go, but I don't have time for that. So we're going to head straight up here where they say the other forces are. Commander. <coughs> so we will send Commander. the Vindicator and we'll stay in the clouds. Let's see. So nothing yet. Move up. Let's see if they can see anything over the top there. And then it'll fall. They just need to stay far enough behind to get long range missile shots to start. So far that's been working okay. <coughs> okay. Vindicator again. Yes, Commander. He can be the first one seen because location confirmed. Yeah, we got unknown vehicle. Huh. Okay, we want to see what the oh, we all gotta move. Okay, so save wolf. Order. Trying to keep move the on out. Let's move the Panthers into the on the move. To the whirlwinds. Give us a bit of cover, slow us down, apparently. Okay, we're gonna reserve this time. <coughs> we're gonna see if what they where they move to. Hopefully I mean <coughs> this is a mission that we should be able to take, but Okay, if that vehicle has it seen us yet? What is it? I hope it's not another one of those friggin' AC-20 tanks. Okay, here comes blood. another one. <coughs> so we got two of them. So, damage. he will be the first to die. That has been, that has been dictated. Yes, command. So Sabre Wolf is going to see if he can get a shot on anything. He can. So, we'll see uh, how this goes. We can see him. We can shoot him. We're going to shoot him with everything because we want them dead. LRMs, SRM4, so a large laser can hurt us. But... I bet you're going to like this. Wow. It's all front armor. But of course, it survives. So, matches. Good to go. Same thing. He's going to step up. Move order. Get in, get in range of the long range missiles and just destroy these suckers before they really hurt us. So he's got some good shooting. Should be able to kill it. Should have killed it with two medium mechs hitting it like that. Commander. If it survives these, it's it's just not right. Okay. So here comes Getting LRMs. Eighty percent. Firing. That one. The other one was shooting long range missiles. <clears throat> so Uncle Boof aye, aye. is going to move. Well, he's going to stay there. He'll stay in the. I don't know if that's in the corner. It looks like it is, though. Yeah, okay, it is. We'll stay back for now. No use wrecking our. Usual plan. Okay, here comes the mechs. <clears throat> okay, so we want to get that. We really do want to get that before it gets us. But it looks like we're reserving. Next turn, we should be able to move the bigger mechs. Looks like. What do we got? Mech. What is it? Ooh, a cicada. Okay, well, maybe plans will change. Who knows? 
This cat eye, we, used, we had parts for it, we got rid of it. So that's something different. We've only seen, I don't know if we've actually seen one, we just bought the parts. Good to for go. now, we want to take out the, yeah, that's going to get a shot at. So let's see. Ready for orders. Let's move matches. He's going to do this. He's going to take out the tank, because those tanks are such harassers. Plus, we're going to see what the Cicada has for weapons. So, this tank's LRM-10, SRM-6. This cat has medium rangers and LRM-10 as well. Okay, the tank's got to go. Got to get that tank out of here. There's such a, a pain in the butt harassing force. Okay, let's go. Somebody will take him out. Waiting for Not order. matches, obviously. We don't want the Shadowhawk to get shot at yet. This will do well when it comes to the tank. The Vindicators are tanks, so <clears throat> we're definitely gonna. So in the LRM5, let's do this. Give us a chance on the. Let's see what this other mech is. No, oh, it's not quite in our range. This is though. So we'll just sensor lock the cicada for now. That gives the Panthers a chance to shoot at it if they want. Waiting for order. As it is, I'm pretty sure they're going to try to take out the tank though. I'm going to back off a bit so the cicada can't get an easy shot at us. And LRM, the tank, 50%, 75%. With that tank behind the hill survives another attack. Those tanks, Receiving tough. It. So we can get to here and do the same thing, so we will. Just get back a bit. Don't need to be in the fight yet. So never get a chance to hit. <laughs> Okay, the tank survives. What a pain. Hopefully he's too close for his LRMs to be very effective. Which is a pretty good shot. Is a long range missiles? Nope. Commander, a winter opportunity to strike is closing. At least half of our time has expired. What? We need to move quickly if you're going to accomplish this. Oh. Pardon moi? Well, that changes things substantially. Standing by. <clears throat> okay, well, we better get a move on then. Up high. Half our time, round five. We have place beacons for artillery. Oh man, I didn't even pay attention. They're so screwed. where you ask yourself, how is that guy surviving this? What was that? That's a panther. Did a pretty good Come amount of armor. Fire here. Let's see if Scotty can rip my arm off. Okay, who's next? Oh, boof. He's gonna get a little more direct shot, plus present another target, I guess. And he's getting to shoot both. Got it. Should kill that. So that's good. That vehicle yeah, lasted vehicle longer than it should have. Okay, matches. It's time to get into the fight, I guess. Here comes the Cicada out of the whirlwind. First shot. Same arm. Yep. Took off the armor. Okay, well, this is where it gets ugly, because we need to place beacons. I guess we'll get in there. I don't know if that's where we're supposed to be to place a beacon. But we are. Attention, all director forces, focus fire on the mechs. Placing the beacons for artillery strike. Oh my gosh. What does that mean exactly? Does that mean they're coming to get me? 
Okay, where do you think he keeps his weapons? I would say one in each arm and yeah, between. So let's see if we can tell where the large laser is in this thing. <coughs> we had one, basic model. Well, it's hard to tell. Looks like they're in the torsos though, maybe. Doesn't have much for arms. Okay, well, we're gonna go for the torsos then. All Might as well fire it. Pretty damaging. These things are heavily armored locusts, basically. Okay. Something I can do. Okay, well, got us one. We might as well start using the Shadowhawk like he's supposed to be used. With his front armor facing and all these weapons shooting. We're gonna leave the LRM out of it. Fire. Okay. This should hurt. That was sweet. Let's hope the left artillery left. doesn't get us. Head destroyed, a headshot. I think that's only my second in the game. So a Panther, we knew that pretty much. Once again, fires, doesn't take out the arm, hits the other torso. Okay, so he spread his damage out. So the game's helping me this time. And yes, our Panthers boss. are gonna start moving their buns because we need to get going. Off. We need to get moving. I didn't really think about there being. Okay, so right arm is where his weapon is. That's where we want to hit. Nice. Took off the arm. We almost took off the arm. Okay, let's we'll see if Uncle Booth can finish him off. On my way. Uncle Booth's a better shot than Artemis, I think. Yep, should do it. Can't target though, so he doesn't have the skills yet. Has it? Kick off the arm. So now it just has an SRM4, so that makes a big difference. I think I hit something good. Yes, you did. Okay, we need to get moving. We need to get moving fast. Standing by. We need to get over to these other two, so we're going to cut straight across this way. And I'll shoot at the panther on her way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I sold off the cicada parts because I was looking for something a little heavier. Well, that's a, that's optimal for everything, so we're firing everything. It's not, a big, it's not a big threat right now, but he's still got the SRMs and he can still run into us, so he can still do uh, physical attacks with kind of a run and butt us. Actually, I wonder if I should be sprinting. Probably should. But for now, we'll, we'll take one last big shot at this guy. Head hit. Holy smokes. Head hit, pilot injured, left arm destroyed. Okay, now our Panthers are going to do their thing. And get going as quick. Well, if they sprint, they get to there. And that's what they do. Because we, we need to hurry up. Also, he'll probably physically attack them, so... We'll see what happens. Orders. Uncle Booth sprinting. Going Once again. <clears throat> so this may give him something to look at. Three Panthers all standing together. And he jumps over two of them. Light damage, Commander. Nothing to worry about at this point. And they're just yeah. going to keep on what sprinting. Can I do you for? Oh, that's the. Yeah, we're just good. Well, the Panthers. Yeah, this that's Shadowhawk's faster. Okay. Hey, let's see what this baby can do. He's really laying it out. Full speed ahead. I don't know how many rounds we got. So two rounds left. Oh, hmm. Place beacon for Alpha. Destroy enemy garrison. So I don't think I've done any of those. Place beacon for artillery quickly. Place beacon for artillery destination. Bravo, place beacon. So it says I've done... Okay, well, I think we're going to take matches then and move them back into this circle, I guess. <coughs> Which makes them a big fat target. 
Copy that. But I guess we need to be in that. I don't know. Not sure what that means. Brace. I am putting a stop to this. No way can pull this off the side of the fire. Abort mission. Yeah. So I guess we ran out of time. Didn't quite understand what we were supposed to do, but <laughs> Ooh, we failed miserably. So I should have paid attention, obviously. That can't be good. That's the second mission I've failed utterly, or third. But that one was just bad. So failed, we get the good effort, pay. Our reputation goes down a bit. We still lose rep with them and gain rep with them. Not as much, maybe. But it, everyone comes out of it okay. Nobody's dead. That's one advantage of failing a mission. So we didn't didn't get anything, no salvage, nothing. So you don't really don't gain anything for that. Maybe skills, possibly. Vehicles take extra damage from melee attacks. Okay, so looks like the way to destroy. Don't want to get in close on a AC twenty tank though. Okay, well we may just be traveling after that debacle. That wasn't good. Take off your shoes. Make yourself comfortable. See if anything's offered. We all we have really is the uh, supply line one, which I hate those ones, and the raiding party, which is a low-level one against the pirates. So I think we're just going to leave this area, head to the next planet. We'll see what's at the other planets. See what we got to get moving and seeing if we can find parts that are going to help us to uh, improve our tonnage. So we're just going to fly out of here. Hello, Commander. Good to so see we'll finish you. off this particular. Day with a trip to could fly to there it's a travel contract but then we'd have to take the contract so I don't like that okay <coughs> Lersha that's a good place to go first I think that's where we're gonna go first 16 days 30,000 let's just do it let's just get going calculating course now commander hopefully nobody dies in the med bay on the way there or some stupid thing Okay, you're going to take a quick look though and see if there's anything we should be doing. So we've only got 1.7. See if there's any mechs Welcome that need repair. The be repaired on the way. There is. The indicator needs a little repair. It's only a one day thing, but that's fine. Okay, we can also look at refitting. So what I'll probably do is leave it at that and I'll come back and do the travel in a separate video later. <laughs>